Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. In this video, I want to discuss about the solution of the question that is on electricity and magnetism under the University of Calcutta PBS year question that is the 2022. This is for semester 2 physics honors, right? At the first, you can see the question paper of this uh, question set that is physics honors, uh, electricity and magnetism, full marks 50. This is question number 1 A to G and there is a OR for this syllabus. Then question number 2, question number 3, after that question number 4 and then question number 5, 6 and finally question number 7. So I request all of you please solve the question that is question number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. After that you continue the video towards the solution. Today we want to discuss about the question number 1 only that is A to G and upcoming session we will be continuing the other question also. First question says determine the electric field due to potential. This is the potential you know from the potential you can get the electric field using this formula that is the electric field is the minus gradient of this phi, phi is the potential. So you just put the expression of phi and the gradient in the spherical polar coordinates this is the this is the gradient in the spherical, spherical polar coordinate system this is in the in spherical spherical polar coordinate coordinate system this is in this spherical polar coordinate system right so in spherical polar coordinate system you can write this gradient function and use this potential function you can see in this potential function there is no function on the theta or phi so you can get this to or zero for the partial derivative only the partial derivative with respect to r so if you take the partial derivative to with respect to r you get the a is constant 1 by r is minus 1 by r square in the product form so one is derivative another is in constant and after that if you take the derivative of this portion you will be get minus lambda e to the power minus lambda r and there is 1 by r as a constant so in the product form you can take the partial derivative and this uh, after rearranging them you will be obtain this expression so this is the electric field for this potential if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box next question for delta n x which is function of x n by pi 1 by n square plus x square so that this total integral value will be 1. So if you put the delta n x uh, expression and this is in the constant. Since you can see the, the this is a uh, event function. This is a event function and the limit is minus to plus infinity. So you can easily uh, write down this is the 2 into of this. Because you know the formula that is for minus a2 plus a f of x dx can be written as 2 0 to a f of x dx if 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 f of x is even function even function even function means f of minus x is equals to f of x f of minus x is equals to f of x right so uh, you can write down there is 2 here after that you just taking the integration of this formula you know the formula uh, you know, know know the integral formula that is uh, 1 by a square plus x square dx is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse x by a here uh, plus c here a is the here a is the 1 and x is nx so they are um, that's why we take 1 by n because you can take the derivative of this function because uh, you just take nx as z right so there is 1 by n here so n n cancel out and if you put the upper limit minus lower limit you will finally get this uh, this is 1 so you will be improved this one next question which one of the following expression is not valid for the electrostatic field so there are two expression of e so which one does not follow the uh, uh, equation of the electrostatic field for electrostatic field curl of E must be 0 for electrostatic field curl of must be 0 the condition 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 for electrostatic 
for electrostatic field you know curl of e is equals to zero so if you take uh, curl of this uh, expression you will be get this is not equal to zero so this is not a right uh, electrostatic field you know curl is del del x del del y del del z and when you take x cap so these are eliminated del del x of this and this del del y of this one is zero or del del z of this one is 2y similarly for y cap del del x of this one 3z del del z of this one zero for z cap del del x of this one zero del del y of this one x so this is not equal to zero so this is not a valid electrostatic field but in case of this you can easily find out that this is it becomes zero so this is a valid electrostatic field next question so that in a magnetized material where there is no uh, free current h can be written as the gradient of the scalar potential which satisfy laplace equation so you know in a uh, uh, divergence of b equals to zero and b is uh, related with h is b equals to mu h so divergence of h also zero you can uh, you, you know the vector identity this is the vector identity this is the vector identity vector identity which says vector identity which says that the uh, diverge, uh, uh, divergence gets is zero so if we comparing so each can be written as the scalar potential right which satisfy the laplace equation next question a point charge plus q placed in from a conducting sphere this is a conducting sphere with radius r not uh, distance at r from the center find the location and the value of image star. so if you, uh, you, you this is the plus q charge at a point a at a distance d uh, if we consider this q prime which is a image charge at a distance d prime from the origin so it must be satisfy these three conditions that is potential phi at zero all over the surface of the sphere then potential phi must be zero at uh, infinity and the laplace equation satisfy all outside point except this point because there is a charge present this is uh, here satisfy the poison equation in the other there is no charge so there must be satisfy the Laplace equation. So you can write down the potential at C at this point potential can be written as 1 by 4 pi so Q by AC and Q by BC right. So just uh, taking the value of AC in the vector form you know uh, this is AC and this is BC you know this angle is theta. So you can just uh, taking this one and comparing you can easily find out the value of the image chart Q prime and the location that is the T prime. So I think you clear about the calculation, right? So taking the just comparison about, uh, for every theta for every angle, this must be satisfied. That's why you can write down these two value that, that is the value of image charge and the location of this point. Next question says an AC circuit connected to 220 uh, volt with 50 hertz supply with a 20 Henry coil that is the uh, uh, that is the value of L inductance and resistance is 100 ohm connected in series with the one microfarad capacitance. So this is the inductance, this is the resistance and this is the capacitance. This is the LCR circuit and in case of LCR circuit you know power factor that is the cos theta is Z by R because you, you know this diagram that is along I that is along Z and this is chi L that is omega L and this is chi C that is 1 by omega C. So just uh, you can take this can be written as omega L minus 1 by omega C and this is R. So this will be Z. So cos theta can be written as R by Z. Z is nothing but root under R square plus X, uh, chi L minus X square. So omega is nothing but 2 pi F. You know omega is nothing but 2 pi F, right? Uh, omega is nothing but 2 pi F. So just uh, exp uh, express this one here and put this value. Uh, this is the value of F and this is LCR right so just putting this value and calculating in the calculator you will be get this expression okay I think clear next question says plot 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 the hysteresis loop of the soft iron and the steel uh, this is the hysteresis loop for soft iron this is for soft iron this green color and for yellow color this is for steel sorry you can you can say the retentivity of soft iron is greater uh, whereas uh, coercivity of soft iron is smaller an area of the BH loop of hysteresis is the soft iron is smaller than the steel. Uh, if you increasing the temperature, the area of the soft iron uh, area of the BH loop will reduce because because 
the magnetization effect will be reduced with increasing temperature if you increase the temperature the dipoles are hesitated and they are the thermal hesitation result the lower dipole moment this lower dipole moment is reduced the stresses law loose law or loss that is the retentivity will be decreases right since the dipoles net dipole is reduced the retentivity will be decreases that's why if you increase the temperature the loop area will be reduced this is the hysteresis loss will be reduced in case of the higher temperature next question says state uh, thevenin's theorem thevenin's theorem says that if you have a uh, total network in a linear network where satisfy the ohms law that is v equals to ir if you take only two point and if you don't know whether there are how many resistance or uh, voltage or etc etc but this can be represented by only two things one is the thevenin voltage other things is thevenin resistance so this total block this total circuit total network can be represented by only thevenin voltage with series resistance that is the thevenin resistance this is the beauty of thevenin theorem where thevenin resistance can be find out if you uh, sort it the voltage source and uh, open the current source if there is current source you must open this current source and sort the voltage source then the voltage found uh, then the resistance found from this two terminal is known as thevenin resistance and thevenin voltage is nothing but just measure the voltage uh, with connecting this voltage uh, with the, using the multimeter you will be get the thevenin voltage so this total circuit can be represented by those two elements and after that you can find out the current through this external resistance here written here uh, any two terminal linear network having a number of voltage and current source and resistance can be replaced by a simply equivalent circuit consisting of single voltage source in series a resistance where the value of voltage is equal to the open circuit voltage across the two terminal network and the resistance equal to the equivalent resistance measured between terminal and all source are replaced by their internal resistance so this is the thevenin theorem i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact detail and this is my youtube channel detail. next video we will continue question number 2 and 3 so that's it for today take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you